Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Robert and today's question is why does Facebook not allow firearm advertisements? Before we jump into that, Shadow System sent me a cool patch. I'm gonna throw that right here. If you guys want your patch in the video, send it to me, I'll slap it on the vest. All right, so has anyone ever thought about this? Why does Facebook not allow firearm advertisements? And the, the truth of it is, is more pathetic than you might think. So stay tuned, we're gonna crack down. I've actually got a response back from Facebook and I'm gonna go over that with you right now. Let's check it out. Now, I sent a few emails back to Facebook asking exactly why they had such a hard time with the firearm industry uh, as far as promoting products more along the lines of accessories and like i mentioned before it's kind of sad what they have done it's kind of pathetic on what they have set up as their policies and regulations so i'm going to read off the email that the director of policy management has sent me uh, I basically went through the, the phone systems, I sent a bunch of emails, I finally drilled down to the guy that was responsible for enforcing the program, uh, and I won't mention his name because then everybody would blow him up for, for this, but um, I told him that I was going to be making a video, and yep, now I'm starting to get messages, <laughs> I'm starting to get messages about it. Thank you guys for commenting, and if you guys have any other questions as far as why or how or whatnot for the firearm industry you know what to do drop the comments below i will do my best to get a video together and crack down on exactly what's going on here so this is the email that they they sent me and it, and it goes along the lines of something like this it says um dear mr kane facebook like many other advertising platforms has implemented policies and regulated the promotion of firearms and ammunition in order to reduce the risk of gun violence and compliance with the legal and uh, regulation of restrictions. So basically they, they made this policy to hopefully somehow downgrade the gun violence. Okay. Additionally, social media companies are keen to avoid negative publicity and criticism from anti-gun groups and the media, which can harm the reputation of Facebook. So there, I mean, he's basically saying that if somebody has is gonna throw a party or an anti-gun festival or whatever, they wanna make sure that they're covering their bases. Um, according to our Facebook advertising policies, the promotion of firearm and ammunition is strictly regulated and requires special approval. He basically goes on at this point and says that certain states and counties like in Alaska there's certain groups that you can be a part of that you can promote in, but as far as traditionally just going out there and blasting out firearms for sale, that's not going to get anything done. There's special regulations that allow it in certain counties that would allow it, but he's not telling me what counties will allow that. Uh, it says advertisers must comply with the ex uh, acceptable laws and regulations per state, including age and background check requirements and other promote uh, another. Uh, applicable laws for those counties. The promotion of ammunition, high capacity magazines, and accessories that enhance the firepower of the firearm is also restricted. So all those accessories, bump stops, you know, rubbery triggers, all that stuff, you know, off the table. Uh, he says, additionally, Facebook's prohibited the pr promotion of products that are associated with violence and th or threats the public safety. These include ads for weapons and other products that are designed to cause harm. So his policy is basically summarizing anything that can cause harm shouldn't be allowed on Facebook advertisement. I mean, you could buy a truck and run people over all day because that's allowed, or you can go and throw rocks at people because that's not designed to cause harm. It will ultimately cause harm. Uh, but they are targeting specific products and accessories that are designed to cause harm. Uh, these policies demonstrate Facebook's commitment to promote a safe and responsible environment for its users, while also complying with legal and regulation restrictions. By limiting the promotion of firearms and ammunition on its platform, Facebook aims to reduce the risk of gun violence and promotes 
a safer environment for Facebook users. Now, is that true? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's true or not. Is it something that's arguable? Absolutely. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there that you could poke holes in. Are they interested in changing it? So I did a follow-up email with this guy and I asked him, you know, is this going to be the way that it is? And basically in other, you know, in layman's term, he said, yes, this is the way it is. They don't see a, a need to change it. They feel like they're making a big impact on gun violence by restricting promotions and removing groups and communications that way. Uh, and then he basically at the end of that told me to jump on Truth Social or another social site that has n not as many guidelines and restrictions and policies uh, that they have to. So now you know uh, exactly why Facebook is the way that they are. And if you guys have any other questions, I will do the due diligence to find it out, man. I'll look into it. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.